what people see when they look at us determines what they think we're about, what they think we're worth. But we get to determine what we know what we're about. We get to determine what our opportunity, what our future is. I would describe the Campaign for Black Male Achievement first as a movement of change agents for black men and boys. It's a network of people who've been working for decades who believe that there's a sense of commitment to transform the life outcomes as we see them for black men and boys. We have to be really focused to counterattack the forces that have created the conditions that black men and boys are growing up in. No country can succeed when a portion of its population is intentionally pushed to the side. We're at war, and it's a war for the minds and hearts of our children. During my freshman year, there was maybe two other black people in that classroom, but that teacher would just mix up all of our names. The whole year, she never bothered to get it correct. It's hard not to correlate it to something that's racial or a stereotype against you. I've had too many friends that have dropped like flies and fell through the cracks. They just suck all the motivation out of your body before you even are old enough to make a difference. I want a classroom where you just feel comfortable, you feel more safe, you feel like you can be you. There's a lot to point to that amplifies the peril that exists growing up a black male in the United States. But there's also a lot of promise and so much of what CBMA has helped to engender and seed is part of that promise. CBMA sees itself as a connector and catalyst for bringing together the private sector, the philanthropic sector, the social sector. Our work really was about community building. Being here today is about letting people know that we are not climbing by ourselves. It is our responsibility, it's our time, and we take it as a commitment to fully be in this fight for our young men. We had to make the decision, where are we going to lean in over the next five to 10 years? And we decided that CBMA will now reside at the intersection of movement building and field building. And we want to be able to point to some key cities where we say, this is how you win when it comes to black male achievement. The impact that we've made has been extraordinary. There's that many less children now that are going into the juvenile justice system as we've increased now the cohort graduation rate for African-American males by 20 percent. It's been an amazing journey and we're excited with the support that we get with the Campaign for Black Male Achievement. As the youth, we're the next in line. We're the people who are going to be making the laws in the future. We're going to be the people who are working in the future to you know, solve all these problems. When we go into the cities where CBMA organizations are having an impact, we will see um, young boys unleashed to bring their goodness and their impact to the world around them. Uh, in the end, this is about making sure that uh, all of the people in America have an equal opportunity uh, to be successful and lead lives where they reach their full potential.